Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS22 Backroads County. This is part 16. And here we are harvesting our soybeans. And then I think we will uh, make some products out of it. Soybean milk, so to say. And I myself will go and do some fertilizing because I just bought a fertilizer, a fertilizer spreader. And now we can go. And work on our fields. Oh here, this has grown. And this is interesting. Here it is still as it was, short, but here it looks a little bit bigger. As if the meadow has been activated by my cutting. We will see, maybe tomorrow there are flowers and then... I know this um, strange idea is true. So, now let's check. Oh, this is more or less square, so it doesn't matter whether I go like this or like so. But here, this is in this direction. Maybe I just go so, in one go over both fields. I think that is most efficient. So, okay, a nice image for remembering this first fertilizing moment. In the beginning there are always so many first times. And somehow I love this. I hope this is wide enough. Yes, I think so. hope it's even wide enough for here, because this is wider at the right side. Maybe I should check. Yeah, looks okay, but here there is a tiny stripe that it's still light blue, so maybe I go a little bit more to the right, like so maybe. But not too much. Okay. The helper is done. I'll take care of this when I'm done with those two fields. Like so. Oh, and I just thought for the for the gardens that I'm planning on this soybean field, I have enough money. But for the bigger production building. I would need to sell some more cows. So maybe this will take a while.
Or maybe first I buy a smaller production building specialized for this um, soybeans. I hope I'm in the in the right distance. I find this always a little bit difficult, this fertilizing. On the one hand I like to do it myself because um yeah you are done so fast. Ah uh, here I can see the color of the field but very only so slightly and on the other hand I find it difficult to cover the whole area and to not overlap too much so I think here we have a little hole But on this field it's rather okay, it's better than on the other field. So here, yeah, now you can see it. So it's only a little bit darker, the brown underneath the green. Yeah, on and the usual fields I usually have they um yeah they are more or less done with three rows somehow. Then that's it. But those fields they are bigger than my usual fields. And they are small fields for this map. So this gives me the feeling of, here I am in America, the country of the big fields. But to be honest, America is not the only country uh, where big fields exist in the eastern part of Germany close to the north there they have really big fields as well I think they are nearly as big as in a lot of parts of America And where I live, th this is in the northern east of France, the fields, um, yeah, for you they would be, for Americans, they would be medium sized, I guess. But for, for my feeling they are big. So something like, yeah, 20 hectares is uh, average somehow. And we have much bigger fields too. And just of at the other side of the Rhine, where is Germany, the fields are much smaller. So yeah, here we can see it rather good. So I have quite some overlapping, but I think it's okay. So 
so on. And if I'm lucky, that is the last go. And then we check on our soybean harvest. I think there we have maybe too much of a hole. We will see later on the map. And I think when it's not perfectly covered all, this is still okay. Then most of it is still okay. Oh, and we nearly spent all the fertilizer. So before I make the other field, I have to fill it up again. So, okay. Yeah, we did it good. And I just think whether I... I just leave it here, the combine. And when I have the the production, it's uh, 13,000 13, liters, it's okay. Yeah, when I build the production building, if I can afford it, uh, then I just put all the soybeans inside. Let's check. So first I need to see whether I have this active. Yes, I think so. So, this is the small potato production. This is the small bakery production. And this is the small dairy. Uh, I think it's in, in the dairy production, yes. We have the soybean milk. And we can make strawberry ice cream. So, it costs 10,000 bucks. That um, if it's m more than a fourth of what we already have. So the th question is whether it's worth it. Or whether it's better to sell the soybeans and wait until we have more money and then I can buy one of those um, for 50,000 and then everything is included. Hmm. Maybe I'll just check the the price for the where is it now, the price? For the soybeans. Like so. This is not much. 
Oh, it will be much more in July. And do I have the soybean milk already here? Yes, yes. This is good. But we have no prices because we have no selling points available. Hmm. But it's more, that's for sure. And so if you have the production building, it's worth, um, it's, yeah, you get much more money uh, if you produce the soy drink. But what I'm not sure is whether for 13,000 liters it's worth the investment. But I could build some gardens that produce soybeans all year round and then I think it will be worth the investment anyhow. Hmm. What to do? Yeah, and the next question is where do I start building here? Maybe I just leave this area and go on to a piece of meadow and then we wait. Yeah. And then maybe I start with half of the area. And is it totally flat? More or less. Yeah. And I'll build some gardens where I grow soybeans and then it's worth um, to buy this small production building. And now I do the rest of the fertilizing. And after this, oh, I could just um, go and sell some stuff after the fertilizing. And then I have mo more money. I think that is the best idea. And with more money, I can invest in my new gardens and yeah, whatsoever I need for them. And maybe even a distributor. Maybe I could put the distributor on the main farm and then put the water inside there. So then I keep this gardens and production, uh, production buildings working from home, from, from the farm. And do a lot of automies. Autom oh, automatic automation. Yeah, that the um, direct selling and such. In the beginning, um, I wouldn't do direct selling because I always love to see the products that are getting produced and to go to sell them somewhere on the map. But when we got the, um, the fifth soy drink box, then I just make direct selling. And I think I'll have a small, a small selling point close to the gardens and the production. So this is 
this field that needs fertilizing. Like so. Oh, and I go very high up and I hope I see what I'm doing. Not so much. Maybe a helper is better with this. Because the helper has this internal perfect measurement that I don't have. So, yeah, let's just check for the selling points. Okay, there's this, this looks very French, I think too French, but this is always a good idea. Because this takes only such a little uh, place and I think it's really nice. Okay. Yeah, he is doing his job very good. I check on the other fields. Oh yeah, here we get got some holes. That I was thinking that maybe I, I was not going straight, and I didn't. But I think this is okay. And here a little bit, and here a little bit. I would say it's okay. And here too, no. But the helper does it. It's job very good. I think here maybe it's a little bit too much. I have to go over this in the end. And here, hmm, maybe if I have some time left over, I do this too. That is no problem. But this. Hmm, little bit too much. Oh! Traffic jam! And... no. Oh, I was just praising the helper for such a good work. And no. I hope I'm... Ah, here I see the very, very tiny difference in the brown color. So... Yeah, this looks like quite good. Okay, I think I'll finish this and then in the next part we can start building with um, gardening and a production area on the soybean fields. I think this will be quite interesting. Okay, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.